Hi friends, welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today we are making melon jelly. Have you ever tried Japanese melon? It's in season in summer and tastes so good. I like to eat as it is, but today I want to try something special. This dessert consists of three parts coconut pudding, melon jelly, and crystal jelly. If this is overwhelming, make melon jelly only. Let's get started. First, let's make coconut pudding. Soak gelatin leaf in the cold water piece by piece. Make sure that each leaf is covered with water. Set aside until it expands and flexible for at least 5 minutes. Whisk heavy cream until foamy but still fluid. Set aside. If you want your pudding fluffy, whisk until soft peaks foam. Dissolve coconut powder and sugar in a hot water. Add in leaf gelatin gently squeezing the excess moisture. Whisk until dissolves. Add in vanilla essence to add more flavor. Place the bowl in an ice bath. Whisk occasionally and chill until slightly thickened. Add in heavy cream that we prepared earlier. Continue whisking until evenly distributed and gelled. Transfer the coconut pudding mixture into a jar and pour in the glass. Cover with plastic and chill in the fridge until set. Keep the leftover for later use. Now let's prepare crystal jelly. Put the sugar and water to a pot and bring it to a boil. Add in lemon juice and white wine for the aroma. If you don't want any alcohol, just skip it. Remove from the heat and dissolve the gelatin. Transfer to a bowl and chill in the ice bath. Keep chilled until used. Crystal jelly tastes neutral so that you can use for any other fruit. Now let's prepare today's main ingredients, Japanese melon. It's from a high-end fruit shop, perfectly ripe and smells so good. But how can you tell if your melon is ripe or not? When you gently push the blossom end, the opposite side of the stem, and if the area is soft and the aroma is sweet, it's good to go. Cut in half from the one third from the stem. Scoop out the seeds onto the sieve. Keep the seeds and juice. This is the sweetest juice. Pass through a sieve and keep the juice. With using the melon bowler, scoop out the fresh. Scoop out all the fresh with a thin and shallow spoon. Pat dry the inside of the skin and pour in the leftover coconut pudding. Pass the melon fresh through a sieve. Japanese melon is soft enough to do so, but if your melon is not, use a blender to make juice. Measure the juice together with around the seeds and from the fresh. I have 300 ml of juice in total. Taste the juice at this point. Add sugar if you want it to be sweeter. Bring the juice to a boil. Since the enzyme containing in melon prevent the jelly from the setting, so we must boil the melon juice before adding gelatin. Pass through a sieve and chill until set. It takes about a couple of hours to set. Now let's assemble. After an hour, the melon jelly should look like this. Partially gelled but still fluid. Spoon melon jelly and melon bowl like this. Look at the color. It's so beautiful. 
pop the jelly into the fridge for about 3 minutes to an hour. Meanwhile, break the crystal jelly into small pieces with fork. Put it on the melon jelly alternating with melon balls. And there you have melon jelly. You can use melon skin like this with leftover jellies. The taste of coconut is the taste of summer for me. Melon jelly is melted in your mouth with the beautiful sweet note. And the melon balls are juicy and ripe. This is the perfect dessert for summer. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Tap the bell icon to be the first one to know my video is updated. For more information, go to my website princessbamboo.com and please follow me on my social media to connect each other. You can send me food photo easily. Lastly, if you are wondering what I am using in my video, go and check my store on Amazon. All the link is in the description box below. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!